the new Samsung Galaxy A16 this year is absolutely awesome. Not only looks stunning, it also has got tons of different features that you probably don't know about. Okay, first when it's actually dark around you and you turn on your torch, you can actually make your phone glow on the back. So if I cover the flash, you can see better that all sides start to glow very nicely. And also the Samsung logo gets illuminated like this. You probably already know that your A16 has got insanely good quality display, but we can actually make the colors pop even more and make them even more vibrant. So we can go to the settings, go to your display settings, click on screen mode and select vivid. Then click advanced settings and you can basically crank this to the maximum if you want your colors to pop the most. So when we go check, the colors should look even more better. Next, you already know that you can actually take a screenshot by pressing the power button and the volume down button and the screenshot will get taken. But there's actually a second way how you can take a screenshot on this phone. So you can actually take your hand, especially this part, and simply swipe it across the screen and the screenshot will get taken. So let's try it. Simply swipe and as you see, a screenshot got taken. And we can use it in pretty much anywhere. So you can go to some website, let it load, Swipe across and the screenshot gets taken. Absolutely awesome. If you want to quickly take a picture on your phone, you can actually double click this power button super fast and a camera will get launched. Actually, we can customize this side button for any action. So we can actually go to the settings, click advanced features, click side button and click open app and then select uh, which task or app you actually want to launch. So for example, if you can even launch a torch by simply pressing this or maybe open a calculator. So let's select torch and let's try it out. And as you see, as I double click, torch gets launched. Double click once more and torch off. Also on this phone, we can actually quickly call emergency service if you ever need by simply pressing this uh, side button again five times very fast. So as you see, as I start to press, it will uh, give an option to call SOS emergency service basically. So let's cancel that. And we can also go to the settings, click your safety and emergency, click uh, emergency SOS. You can enable this or disable here. And also you can click this emergency number to call and actually customize which number you want to call. Or you can also enter a custom number. So maybe if you want to call a trusted person, you can enter his uh, phone number here. And when you click this button, uh, the phone will ultimately call that. Also, if you want to speed up your A16 and perhaps you do not have like the largest memory as I have here, 8 gigs, maybe you have the 4 gigabytes, we can actually extend the RAM uh, virtually on this phone. So let's go to the settings, click device care. Okay, click memory, let it load, and click RAM Plus. So we can actually assign uh, all your storage space to act as a, a extra RAM basically. So we can select extra 8 gigs of RAM. Once you select that, we are going to restart our phone. And basically, if your phone, for example, has got 8 gigs of RAM, it will now have 8 gigs uh, of uh, real RAM plus 8 gigs of virtual RAM. So this will make your phone basically more speedy and you will be able to multitask better. Also your A16 this year has got some incredible cameras. So what if you actually want maybe to take a picture of yourself uh, but you do not really have another person to ask. So we, what we can actually do, uh, we can take our hand and simply show it to our phone and we'll start a countdown and take a picture of us. So as you see, I'm showing hand and it started the countdown and took a picture of me. Let's try again. Show hand. See, countdown is starting and it takes a picture of us. And let me show you some more things that you actually need to know. First, when you actually launch your camera app and go in the photos, you will see that by default you actually get 12 megapixel images. So you simply need to press this and select 50 megapixels. So you can actually get more detailed picture. Also, this format, I really suggest to go for the 16 by 9. Otherwise, if you select 4x3, it's actually in a bit weird format. So I really suggest to go for the 16x9. Also, when you launch your camera app, you can see only a few modes here. But if you actually go to the more, 
you can see you can actually get more camera modes so you can actually do slow motion videos uh, night photos so maybe if you do not have the best lighting simply select the, like this night mode take a picture and it'll be, be much much better so uh, also this has got some incredible pro mode so let's actually set this pro mode to over here so you can quickly launch it press this plus button over here basically drag it wherever you need okay let's go back and as you see you got an extra mode so when we actually launch, launch the pro mode you can essentially transform this camera into a professional camera so you can add, adjust your iso you can add, adjust your shutter speed exposure compensation basically how light or dark you want your image to look also you can adjust uh, various focusing modes and you can even adjust the white balance so this is essentially a professional camera also let me show you one more cool thing on this camera app so if we actually go and click the settings in the camera and swipe all the way down and click on the shooting methods and click this floating shutter button when we go actually back you can see you have actually another uh, like a shutter button which we can basically use to take a picture basically so maybe if you actually uh, want to hold your phone in this hand uh, you can't physically like reach this button over here but by placing this extra button wherever you want to you can basically use this hand to take a picture as well so this is very useful when you yeah basically are out of your free hand and maybe need to take a picture in some weird way Next also let me show you how you can actually significantly enhance the pictures taken with these cameras. So actually when you swipe up and go to your Google Apps folder, you will see your uh, Photos app. So you can actually see all the photos on your device with this Google Photos app. But we can actually do some magic editing tricks on this uh, Google Photos app. So basically when we select an image and click edit, we have various options here. First, we can actually unblur the image. So maybe if some parts of the image are very blurry, we can simply click unblur and it will do some AI magic and unblur any uh, stuff that might be very blurry for you. Then also we can click enhance. And as you see, the colors pretty much got enhanced and it looks way, way, way better now. So let's click save copy. So when we actually click enhance, as you see, the areas got lifted basically, colors got better, and yeah, significantly better picture actually. Uh, also, you do get other options here. You can basically crop your pictures, uh, like even erase some things from this picture, which you do not want. Next, let me show you where you can actually get tons of free, absolutely awesome wallpapers. So when we actually go and change your wallpaper, click and hold it on the screen, click wallpaper and style, when you click change wallpapers, you only get like very few options here as you can see. But when we actually go all the way down and click from Galaxy Teams, there won't be any uh, by default actually. So scroll down and click get more wallpapers. Okay, then the trick is basically, uh, basically when you enter here, you will see all of these wallpapers are actually paid. But the trick really is go to the top wallpapers and filter by free basically so by default they will show a lot of paid ones so and you can scroll and choose your wallpaper here again there are absolutely like a, several thousands of different wallpapers to choose from and all of them are insanely good quality as well so you can click wallpaper download supply select on both if you want to done and pretty cool also on this A16, we can actually enable edge panel as well, where we can basically place all our favorite apps or maybe things that we want to keep there for very quick access. So if you want to actually enable that, we're going to go to the settings, display, and select this edge panels. Also, after you click enable, you can also click on the edge panels text itself. And basically here you can uh, customize it even further. So you can even see different things which you want to add here. So there are actually tons of different things. We can select weather, for example. Also, when we go back and click on handle, we can actually adjust the, the position of that edge panel, either on this side or this side. Also the style, color, uh, how transparent it is its size as well. As you see, basically it got larger here and also 
as you can see we can make it very thick so it's easy to access so let's open that and yeah pretty cool actually also the a16 this year actually has got a dual messenger function as well so maybe if you actually want to use two whatsapp accounts at the same time or maybe other messenger accounts at the same time we can actually do that on this phone so again let's go to the settings click advanced features click dual messenger and enable for whichever app you actually need it so if you have like different social apps it will appear here so click confirm so we can also use separate contact lists if you want to okay it will take some time to install the second copy and activate it and when we go to our app list you can see you have two whatsapps at the moment so if we launch that i have my regular whatsapp but if i launch that uh, a new whatsapp will prompt me to set it up basically absolutely awesome also on this phone we can actually customize these navigation bars here as well so either you can actually swap these icons around or you can disable it completely and maybe switch to gesture navigation so let's go to the settings display again scroll down navigation bar and basically here you can enable these buttons or swipe gestures so if you enable that uh, basically you'll need to swipe to go further and backwards and again you'll need to swipe basically to go back and stuff like that so take your time to learn that maybe it's even better system for you also when you select the buttons and click more options you can actually change the order of these buttons by default it's actually like this but i like the back button on this side so i have set it up like that also your a16 has got actually incredibly good battery inside but what if i told you you can actually extend the lifespan of that battery so maybe if you plan to use your a16 for a very long time maybe at least like five years there is some settings that you definitely should enable so let's go to the settings click on battery click on battery protection and in this menu i would suggest you to enable this maximum mode so basically uh, once you start charging your phone it will stop charging at 80 percent because most of the wear when you actually charge the battery uh, happens basically uh, once you go past charging it around 80 or 85 percent so it's simply wise to simply limit this phone also when you actually use your phone make sure your battery level uh, doesn't drops below like 15 or 20 percent basically again if you see it's at around 20 percent i really suggest you to put it on charger and charge it up because again uh, if you deplete your battery completely maybe you use it up, up until like five percent it's not very good at all for the battery longevity of these phones also what if i told you you can actually answer and deny calls with these buttons here but it's actually not set up by default so we can go to settings and click uh, your accessibility settings okay interaction and dexterity and click the answering and ending calls so then basically we can select various options here so as you see by default this is actually not enabled so we can actually enable this so we can actually press the volume up button to answer the call and also you can press the side button if someone calls you can simply deny the call with the side button as well also we got another cool feature here so basically if you aren't at your phone and you simply want to know who's calling you without having to run for your phone we can enable this and when you enable this basically once someone calls you the phone will actually uh, speak uh, out and tell you who's calling so by default it's actually enabled for over bluetooth and headphones only but if we click that we can also enable this always so basically uh, if someone calls you right now the phone will uh, automatically read out who is calling to you also on this phone it's actually possible to customize these quick launch menus here so if you haven't noticed it you basically can uh, simply drag this here and you can quickly launch something so but we can actually customize that again let it lock and click and hold on the screen till it becomes like this wait a second and then simply click on these icons and then you can simply select whichever stuff you want so we can for example start torch click done so you can probably see i have a new button here so if i touch it and drag it like this my flashlight will turn on absolutely awesome
Also, what if you suspect there's actually something wrong with your phone or maybe something is not uh, working? So we can actually run diagnostics on this phone very easily. We can go to the settings, uh, click on device care, click on diagnostics. Okay, click phone diagnostics and here we can basically test very easily uh, which stuff basically might have be faulty on your phone. Also, we can easily check even battery health here as well. So we can click that, let it run. And as you see, this is a brand new phone. So it will say my battery life is uh, great basically. So we can run it again, again, it will even show you your capacity of the battery here as well. Absolutely awesome. And finally, probably you already knew that your phone has got a fingerprint reader. However, did you actually knew that you can actually also unlock and authorize various things using your face? So, yep, this cheap budget phone actually has got face ID as well. So, if you actually want to set it up, we can go to the settings, lock screen, then basically screen lock type, select face biometrics, and let's set it up. Okay, you will need to set up basically a pin first or a password or a pattern. So you need a second way to unlock this phone. Okay, once you have your pin ready, you will simply need to show your face to the phone and set it up. Okay, so face done. And basically if we want to unlock our phone, we can simply show our face and you see it unlock it automatically without having to touch the fingerprint reader or do anything else. Absolutely awesome phone. And overall, the Samsung Galaxy A16 is absolutely incredible this year. And actually, I'm trying to reach uh, 15,000 subscribers on this channel. If you could help me out, that would be so much appreciated. Thank you and good luck.